This is a demonstration on how to graph a piecewise function on a TI graphing calculator. So a piecewise function is a function of this sort where we have the function that actually equals three different functions depending on what region it exists in. So let's turn our calculator on. First thing we want to do is come to y equals and begin defining our equation. So our equation equals 2x for x is less than negative 2. So what we'll want to do is open up a set of parentheses and enter in our function 2x and close up the parentheses. Now we want to run the test or run a test. So x is less than negative 2. So let's enter in x and use the test function on the calculator here. So second test and we want a less than less than we find is 5 that gives us a less than negative 2 we'll enter that in negative 2 so we've completed this portion of our function now we want to add to that it equals negative 1 in this region between negative 2 and 1 so we'll want to add to that use the plus operator and open up a set of parentheses and insert our value which is negative 1 now we want to run a test. We have to run this test here because it's only valid in this region. So we'll open up another set of parentheses and we'll break this up into two parts separated with an AND function. So I'll show you how to do that. So uh, negative 2 is less than or equal to x. So we'll enter that in. Negative 2. And we'll hit the test again. And we're looking for a less than or equal to. That's uh, 6. Enter in our x. Now we need to and that uh, due to the limitation on the calculator itself. It can't resolve this uh, expression as written, so we'll use the and. So again, let's go to the test, but this time let's slide over to the logic and notice that 1 is the and function. So we'll and that with x is less than 1. So enter in our x, again second test, and we're looking for a less than, that's 5, and it's less than 1 and then close that up. Now we're coming to the end. We want to complete our last section. Uh, that uh, the value, the function equals x squared at x is greater than or equal to one. So we'll add to that, open up a set of parentheses again, x squared, close that up. Now we need to run our test. So that is, we'll enter in our x value first our test. We're looking for a greater than or equal to. That's 4. And enter in the value 1. Close it up. And then we'll graph our results. And there we see a graphing of a piecewise function on a TI-84 calculator.